when people got a good look at the one and only Firebird at General Motors Motorama, they left no doubt that Americans confidently expect this country's industrial and engineering genius to come up with tomorrow's best as it has today. For although the fabulous Firebird will never roll its wheels on public highways, Americans want the cars they do drive to reflect all the engineering imagination and unfettered experimentation that can possibly be put into test tube cars like this. For test tube car it is, a research project, just one part of a constant effort to learn still more about the generation of automotive. <laughs> The trailer's precious cargo was handled with extraordinary care. And kerosene was strained into the nose tank with equal caution. Technical observers were on hand. Two-way shortwave wired radio provided a constant check on the Firebird's performance. Reported directly from the car by its test driver, the helmeted, white-clad Maury Rose, who specialized driving skill that brought him first across the finish line in three Indianapolis racing classics could be concentrated on checking the Firebird's controls and her handling characteristics. When all instructions are given and received, when everything is in readiness and signals cleared, the hatch is closed. And Rose gives the signal even a small boy knows. The starter begins to whine. The engine comes to life. And Rose checked his air brake flaps. Before gas turbines would be satisfactory power for production vehicles, research has a lot of work yet to do. But that's the job of this car and its engineers. They have to find answers to questions, practical questions. And the answers will come from research on the Firebird itself. As she runs up the miles on proving ground roadway, Engineers will try to find how best to stop her, with or without her brake flaps. Try to make her run quieter, use less fuel. They'll try to make her more responsive to her throttle, thoroughly safe, easy to service. To solve these and other problems, they'll have to find the answers to a thousand and one questions. So you can be sure that night will fall on many a day before all the answers are found before this four-wheel test tube has run the long gauntlet of dispassionate, coldly analytical, impartial research, General Motors applies to any experimental development. 